Understanding Snowed Over, a guide to English idioms. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we explore the fascinating world of English language. Today, we're going to dive into a very interesting phrase, snowed over. This phrase can be quite puzzling for English learners, so let's unpack its meaning and usage together. Firstly, let's explore the literal meaning of snowed over. This phrase is used to describe a situation where something is completely covered with snow. For example, after a heavy snowfall, you might find your car snowed over. It's a straightforward description of a physical state, but the English language often takes such literal meanings and extends them into more figurative uses. In a figurative sense, snowed over is used to describe a situation where someone is overwhelmed or overburdened, especially with work or responsibilities. It's similar to saying someone is snowed under. Imagine the feeling of being buried under a pile of tasks, just like a car buried under snow. That's the essence of being snowed over. Let's see some examples to understand this better. One. I'm completely snowed over with work this week. I might have to work on the weekend. 2. Our team was snowed over with requests after the product launch. These examples show how the phrase can convey the sense of being overwhelmed in a context unrelated to actual snow. Here are some tips for using this phrase. Context is key. Ensure that the context makes the figurative meaning clear. Use with care. It's a metaphorical phrase, so it might not be suitable for formal or professional communication. Similar phrases. Understand similar phrases like snowed under or overwhelmed, as they can be used interchangeably in some contexts. And that's a wrap on snowed over. Remember, idioms like this add color and depth to your English communication. We hope this video helps you understand and use snowed over confidently. Keep practicing and don't let yourself get snowed over by the intricacies of English idioms. See you in the next video.